You are good. Welcome to Modular Design. In continuation of our studio apartment design that we have embarked upon for a long time. So last episode we were able to design some of this coping structure and the patterns on the wall. And we put the steps and the the window embellishment for this part. So now we want to work a little bit on this uh, on this uh, Still, still case case inside. At the same time, we do the sighting development by adding a flower pot around this build. And before then, someone make a question, a request that uh, how do I do the crop region? That maybe the crop region of any side of the elevation that is not getting it on this. So if you are using the 2024, like I've said before. Try to watch the way I create the templates, and if you are, if you have the same kind of scenario in your whole field, where do you get to? Where do you get the crop region field? You come to the ribbon below the cell work area. So the ribbon below here will indicate for you. So here you will show. You click on it and say, show crop region. It will come out like this. So you'll be able to resize it to your taste drag it around drag it around if you want to break it so it's possible for breaking so you click and you'll be able to edit whatsoever you want to edit in that manner so the same thing you click on it to off it and close it down so if you are not interested in, in it so if you have a crop you don't know, put it on this way let's say you have uh, something that you don't want under this you can click on it so many things will be filled under this one because what it's not cancelled so like say let me give you an instance you click like this and say gravity display and the gravity display go to background and you or you put on the background by saying gradient let us use gradient so the gradient will come so when you click on this one everything disappears so we're going to continue to see the gradient the background in to infinity whatsoever you bring to it is continue to display but if you you crop it off like this it's going to maintain its size to that original place that you are using the workplace that you are doing your work so that's how it works so i don't like seeing this line around that's why you see that i make sure that i i the crop region so as i've hidden it now it's gone so i'm going back to what i've done we are still going back to do some little things on this just later so for now let us stay within the scope of this design region. So as I've done now, the next thing I need to do, I want to edit this my the ceiling or the ceiling, then you go back to the editing. So the structure, the first definition is what you do. So for me, uh, this is what you are doing here. So you go to pattern, surface pattern, and you say no pattern. So let that go. Use my use uh, rendering appearance and go to this. So just leave it that way if you like it. If you don't like it, you can decide to change it the way you have changing the remaining ones. So click here and you just want to use pure white like my. So go to this the what is it called ceramic. So poly. So I'm choosing ice white. So I'm clicking on that and I'm giving it go so the part the pattern is disappear you don't see the pattern any longer so whatever you want to design from here now you can continue so what I want to do here is to create the fire pot around this area so the work is almost going and we we'll soon be developed before we convert it to our next it so now we, we click on this component and say modern in place so modern in place you just use a case work and you rename it to something like say a flower flower, flower pot so call the flower pot in that manner because everywhere is going to contain the flower space so i'm using a solution to guide that right so so many projects you have done of something similar but you know the influence of things is that most 
people are discovering this for the first time and i encourage you if you are discovering this channel for the first time from from this video kindly subscribe because every day we bring the development to you as we work in progress so you close that and you have this kind of pattern in my flower pot so which is good so now what i do i click finish i'm done with that aspect so now i will decide to change this to something like a 300 i mean sorry 300 in height so i'm changing this one to the pattern i want which is what let me use another one replicate this material and now we call it just leave it in, the, in that way so remove it and change it to something else the material so assign that so the next thing you do is that you copy this and copy to press one and press enter so that it like copy to the same spot because you want to edit it so here now you increase this one so that the green area will come out so change it to 30, uh, 350 and that 350 edit extrusion so what you do is that you, you you offset it inside so like 50 is too much so you change this one and change it to like let's say 75 minus 75 you can put minus or you leave it that way so just like offsetting it without copy remember without copy do not copy when you are offsetting in the range so that's what you do beautiful so you click finish in this manner then you go to material edit you duplicate this as well and you change this one to grass so at that point you say appearance and go to set work on the set work you click any of the grass that you know that is suitable to you so you click that and say okay fine so go to 3d and see what you have created so this is your creation for now so now i want to develop this uh, upper side so click finish I'm going to the level 5 at the level 5 or let me say level 3 from the level 3 I'm starting my journey in that area so I will go to elevation no I'm going to pick from this level 5 just pick from this one and draw it across that plane area so if you have done this so it's overlapping according to what it's telling you go to 3d and see what you are what it's saying so from the 3d now you click here and you say it should align to what you have here so that is significant method you can align from 3d and get what you want directly so it should align again from that top do you see what you have created so that's how it is the for a normal construction setting, the FET used to cover this space with the from other activities. So because we use uh, using uh, what because we attach this building to the wall, so that is why you are seeing this pattern. So this one does not matter. And what matter now is that you want to do cooking around this place. I want to do 3D cooking formation system. So you click on this and say components modern in place so you use placements in that way again and you call it copying you can call it copy 2 so that you don't have anything to do with the original something like that so you are using sweep from the sweep now you are clicking pick you are using pick 3d method so you use instana you are going to do from inside and inside so the next thing you do is Good. So that is how you trim everything around. So they are all going to join together. Put the 3D and go to your edit profile. It's your edit profile sign on to the to your west. Yeah. So from here you design the pattern as suitable to you since you know what you are bagging. So you follow this suit up. So you close it up in that way. 
so it might not answerable to you check it out so this one is fine and it's definitely okay for you so change the material to just put it proper white and let it be there like that so go to the 3d and see what you've done that is it so you need to cover this place up so that the rain will not be so how do you do that you go to you should use the same thing by clicking on five so now i'm using this crazy this one and say extrusion on my illustration i'm going to draw this rectangle side around closely so finish so go to 3d i'm going to see what you've done so you can now adjust this one to your taste whether you pull it up or pull it down so when you cut it from section you're going to see what to do and if it's okay by your idea fantastic and beautiful so click finish and then go to shots go to west and you've seen what's happen so that is it you have created something fantastic in this place i work technicality within the area of the building so this one will serve as a standard and everything for the beginning so after then you can decide to now bring some of the templates into place by bringing the flower sorry I come here and say massing and the massing to post surface and components so you check these are the fury met fury uh, materials that i want to use to render this is what it's going to do but no matter if it things are going to be used in this way so i'm going to use uh, let me use uh, okay i will delete so i'm going to use it from the foundation so it will be okay from there by clicking and say stopo site so that is the flower that this has brought for you and that is it so look at it from 3d and get your idea of what you have created so it's not showing because it's too small so go back to the foundation select this and you pull it up so from here you can say foundation and say the one thing you can do to change the height because it's too small so you can change the height to something like okay 900 good it's going to get bigger look at it from 3d so you are seeing it now so from there you can still change this so select the you can still change the elevation and say okay from the post or you go to to waste like that and drag it up so and drag them up like that give space to put it down so see from 3d again so so see from 3d again and see what you have done so check it from realistic view and whether it's it's made up with what you want i say in appearance so when this one read you have the taste of what you want so in this in the preparatory method to a few other things you'll be able to understand okay this is the word and this is the why okay so you can change this one as well if you don't want and how do you go to that place rendering appearance is there edit let's so i mean rendering property so you use rendering appearance by clicking here so for me you change the pattern any pattern that you know that is suitable to you so for me i want to use a rudo dent Rodo dendron. So, so I'm using this one to change it for what I want. So if I don't need it again, I go back there, go and change to another one. So I'm I can decide to change to pampa grass or change it to fiber run, fiber normal, things like that. So any other one that you know that okay is applicable. So let's tell you Oleander. So Oleander will be okay for now. So as you have done it and remember never in your life mirror this one when you are working so you need to be very specific always copy and copy and copy around the space you want it to work for sure so this is what you are able to do at this point and at this junction so with this one we are finished with the modeling of exterior so every other thing we are going to be adding with it will come later on but the basic thing that we need to do is that we want to turn this out to an estate so after the next tutorial which is going to fight tone by developing some of the functionality of the pattern then we walk into that level so if 
kindly subscribe to this channel if you are watching us for the first time and if you have been with us before please share this project